Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call to repair this ductwork and re-insulate it from here and over there. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. We are here to repair this ductwork. As you can see it's actually sweating. And why is that? Because they got tape for ductwork over here they got cardboard for ductwork and the insulation is all coming apart all right guys let's clear up this over here we're gonna cut a nice frame here I'm gonna put sheet metal seal it and then insulate it and then over here what is going on over here let me get out of here. Oh, a piece of cardboard. That's got to go too. So we're going to cut around here, put some sheet metal. They said just put over it. I mean, I would love to just put everything new, except for what goes into the wall. Maybe leave like an inch or two so I can connect the other one, but this is freaking horrendous man there's a hole here there's a hole here and there's a hole in there this unit was just installed here so now they have air conditioning for this room itself so now we got they wanted to close that up oh there's a piece of metal right there so now they wanted to close that up so it's for its own dedicated space in the restaurant instead of trying to cool the space down a little bit with these two you know two units not designed for two spaces i mean one unit not is not designed for two spaces it's designed for one but now they have a dedicated machine just for this room so it has heating and cooling so we gotta clear this up this is just ridiculous and gross this tape really has to go man they really go all around with this oh and this is like oh man it's all gotta go jeez it's like insulation with duct and stuff is thick Clean this area up a bit. I'm thinking do a little something like this here. Have it overlap just a little bit. I'm gonna cut some sheet metal and put it in place of this disaster. that's looking a lot cleaner to deal with this duct tape though my lord it's like good black gorilla tape this stuff gotta go we gotta make this stuff pretty again oh come on man there's even air coming from this hole what is this anyways this top piece honestly it's all ripped apart anyways thermostat cable man you got everything going on over here this area just has to go there's nothing i can do for them here this is just it's done want to overlap it save some money but they're just doing a disservice to this unit this area is gonna have to be changed up this is just horrendous I mean, there's no duct here anyways. It's just nothing. So, it is what it is. Let's clean this up. Whew, and get out of here as soon as possible. <laughs> oh man. All 
right, so wherever we took out insulation, kind of want to just wipe it so it's nice and clean. See like this whole mess here. This makes it nice and smooth. Need a smooth surface to work on. This is already looking better. That side is all done for now. But this, you gotta get an inside look at this. This is just incredible. Oh my god. Obviously that hole with cardboard. And what's up with this one? Oh gosh, this whole thing is coming out. Put a piece of foam here. Nice old taste to cover. Beautiful. This whole thing is destroyed. Destroyed, man. <laughs> Jesus. We're gonna fix this thing up, man. This thing looks horrendous. All right, that's already a lot better. Whatever is here, whatever we'll keep. And we're gonna go on top, but we gotta cut this out right here and here. There's screws sticking out. If anything, we can take those out, put a piece of tape, and we can seal it as well as that's what they were <laughs> using here. All right. Take that out. Take this out. Take this out. Take this out. Come on. All right. We'll put tape on here and then seal it with. You'll see what I'm using using this roll of aluminum tape and we're covering all the holes that I see here and then I'm going to use a duct seal to seal that. Let's cut out these pieces of metal. All right, let's pull this back a bit. Okay. I do have an attachment for my drill. But let's see how hard it is to cut this. But this too bad but this has to go All right. let's see you know what it's a little bit thick got this cool Malco attachment for my drill Let's see how that works in this situation. Might even have to go here. Let's see, let me cut it from here. Woohoo, that thing is nice. All right, let's pull this back a bit from the other side and that should make life easier Woo. all right awesome yeah, look at this See, maybe I can go up a bit. Get my angles right. Man, what a mess. Why do I always get stuck in these, right? Let's go this way. Awesome. They did the same thing on this one. So you know what? Cut a little bit bigger. Maybe on the side a little. And go around. Okay. This way. That's it. And 
that's out the way. Measurement of this, let's say eight, eight by 10. This one, um, nine, nine by 11, eight by 10 and nine by 11. Let's cut some pieces and then we can get that on there. All right. Could even give ourselves some more room. Let's do the first one, nine. Eight by 10, let's do, let's do nine by 11. Okay. Gonna follow this straight. Go this way. It's gonna be our first piece, and we can chop that up. How this goes, this is a bit easier to cut. All right. Go that way, and now. this way so let's cut out some two pieces drill it on there and seal it all right guys I'm gonna put this over right there let's zip it in okay I'm gonna put some screws on and then we're gonna use some duct sealant and that's gonna seal this up real nice straighter all right let's get this all in and then I'm gonna seal it like I said let's just get this straight all right got that one in let's do this one and I have a piece ready for the inside over there center this so we're good. Zip these in. All right, that's closed. And that is closed. You could even tape around and then paste. So you want, if you want extra protection, let's seal this guy up. All right, let's do it. <sighs> Gotta seal that too, I don't know what that is. What is this? Oh, this is a, the smoke alarm on the other side. That's what that is. All right. Let's seal this up. Do this a step at a time. All right, guys, put the sheet metal and I taped around it for some extra protection to seal all those gaps. And now we can use the duct sealant. All right, I'm using Air Seal 22. Water-based duct sealant, formulated for indoor and outdoor use. Color is gray, this stuff is great. Oh, come on, Christian, look how he left this brush. This is garbage. You know what, let me use this for now. Oh boy, that brush is done. This is, this is garbage. Anyways, we're gonna Use the duct sealant all around. I told them to turn the AC off because, you know, ideally you, you don't want duct sweating while you're doing this. It makes it really difficult. So, they don't want to do that. It is what it is. Let's seal this up properly. And they're going to be all right. I also put an extra piece of tape here because there was like some hole there. So I just want to seal this all up. And we can be confident this is a lot better. If anything, we could even put an extra layer on our duct as well. All right. So we're gonna seal this all up and then we're gonna insulate on top of it. Painters for, we're painters for today. <laughs> all right, seal this up nice. Definitely needs it. I really don't do duck work, 
but this is definitely better than foam and cardboard or just simply tape if you have any suggestions leave a comment below but they're gonna be all right with this there's gonna be more air being pushed to the other room as well i'm sure there were a ton of gaps with this all right i kind of sealed the whole thing because there was little tapes around i'm just gonna seal the whole thing plus this little gap that was here that's sealed and so is that one let's let this thing dry a little bit if it can things are drying up a bit but because it's running and the duck is sweating a little bit it's definitely taking a little longer anyways i got this duck wrap right here it has like the silver taping insulation tape on the outside and inside is fiberglass I'm pretty much going to cut this up and seal this all up i'm going to take some measurements and get this going and we'll see what we can do i got these milwaukee scissors and they are honestly super strong what i found is this actually cuts it the cleanest instead of like some sort of knife and pretty much cut this up cut this up to size and we're going to get this going and do a picasso paint job on this thing right there whoops all right all right i'm gonna get this going put a little tape on it and that should honestly hold it just make sure to do this nice and tight let's just get a piece here fit that on there for now make sure it's nice and tight and tape this all up and wrap it up i would love to do one piece but that might be a little difficult. Let's just wrap this thing up and make things nice. So far, this is coming out real nice. The only thing is, is that for this to be done proper, this wrap needs to be wrapped around the entire duct and then sealed. Fortunately, it is what it is. And we're just gonna do our best. 2,000 years later. Check that out. Super clean all the way around and I used a little border to go around try to do it as neat as possible and it gave it some extra room to like adhere to but honestly this is so much better than what was there before oh man that's a beautiful thing right there oh man that's awesome we just gotta clean up this mess over here all right all right guys this took a lot longer than expected this is done I'm leaving that as is whole bottom everything is nicely wrapped let's get under here this is all wrapped as well and it honestly looks phenomenal i replaced what i had to replace and i touched up everything else with tape but man that's clean that is fully insulated i'm gonna wrap this one up here if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time